Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. The Minister of Foreign Affairs participated through virtual communication in the extraordinary conference at the ministerial level for donors to the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Jordan, Ayman Safadi, and the Minister of International Development Cooperation in Sweden, Peter Eriksson, with the participation of the Commissioner General of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, Philip Lazern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs addressed the meeting speech in which he clarified that the Palestinian issue is considered one of the oldest issues on the agenda of the UN Security Council. He said that the international community has become indebted to the brotherly Palestinian people and the region on the larger scale, building on these efforts that have continued for many years. The minister affirmed Bahrain's appreciation for the role of the NRWA in serving and supporting Palestinian refugees and providing relief and development support to about 5 million people in the Palestinian territories, Jordan, Syria and Lebanon. He also said that Bahrain was and still is the supporter of the Palestinian people and their legitimate rights in establishing an independent state on its land and its capital, East Jerusalem, based on the Arab Peace Initiative and relevant UN resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs added that Bahrain has been a permanent contributor to the NRWA's core program since 2000 through the Royal Foundation for the humanitarian action. At the end of the speech, El Zayani expressed thanks and appreciation for organizing this important conference, expressing Bahrain's deep appreciation for the ongoing work by the NRWA on the agency staff. The Minister of Health, uh, Faqad Saleh, chaired the meeting of the National Committee to Control Smoking and All Types of Tobacco and its Products. Which was held remotely, the Minister affirmed the high level of efforts and community partnership of all government and civil authorities in cooperating to implement the decisions of the Government Executive Committee led by the His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme, Commander and First Deputy Premier to protect the health and safety of all the health minister stressed that need for fulfilling the efforts among all concerned authorities and for making plans and preventive policies in the next stage that are all in accordance with the efforts of the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus. The minister noted the importance of committing to all precautionaries and preventive measures to combat the virus adding that the decision to close shisha coffees and cafes and limit their activity to serving food only comes in accordance with the efforts and goals aimed at protecting the health of community members. She emphasized the importance of the role of the National Committee to control smoking and launching initiatives that increase awareness on the impact of smoking on the health of citizens and residents in light of the pandemic. The National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus Today held a press conference at the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research at the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital to highlight measures taken to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health and member of the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus COVID-19, Dr. Walid Khalifa al Manai highlighted strengthened precautionary measures undertaken by the Ministry of Health to protect frontline workers and provide safe working conditions. Dr. Manai noted that safe working conditions are being provided by allocating separate entrances and rooms for health workers, ensuring all health workers have access to personal protective equipment, publishing updated guidelines, continuously de-infecting surface and providing infection control training. 
He highlighted that frontline workers undergo COVID-19 testing regularly in order to prevent the transmission of the virus amongst responders and expressed his appreciation for the dedication and commitment. Turning to patient outcome, Dr. Al-Mana'i al -Mana explained that the recovery rate is currently at 74.66%, that a 0.29% death rate isolation center capacity stands at 8,303 8 beds, of which 3,811 beds are being occupied, and 1,734 asymptomatic cases are under optional home self-isolation after meeting the set criteria, infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital and member of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant Colonel Manaf al gahtani emphasized the protective steps individuals are encouraged to take a day test positive or quarantining at home. Dr. Gahtani pointed out that those who have tested positive will be contacted within 48 hours of testing by the Ministry of Health, adding that those who are not contacted should follow up by calling 444. Additionally, Dr. Gahtani reiterated that those who experience severe symptoms such as difficulty in breathing should immediately contact 444 and seek medical care. Consultant of Infectious and Internal Diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila at Salman noted that the Ministry of Health is continuously expanding COVID-19 testing capacity to identify, isolate, and break chains of infection. Dr. Salman stressed that face masks must be worn at all time when at public sittings, including during outdoor recreation as well as when close proximity to family members with underlying health conditions. Or when in close proximity to elderly family members, this decision does not extend to when driving cars or participating in strenuous activities such as running, swimming or cycling. To conclude, Dr. Salman reviewed the health status of active cases confirming 5,508 stable cases from total of 5,544 active cases. She noted that over 494,000 tests have been conducted to date. The president of the Asian Football Confederation AFC and first vice president of the International Federation of Association Football, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, participated in the International Sports Conference under the title COVID-19 and Football, How to Change the Future, held through video conference and organized by the UAE Football Association in partnership with the UAE Pro League. Sheikh Salman affirmed AFC's keenness to supporting Asian National Association to overcome the repercussions of the corona pandemic, stressing the AFC's keenness on continuing its various competitions while complying with safety requirements. He hailed the unity and solidarity of the Asian football team during the corona crisis, adding that their deep sense of responsibility dispelled the fears of the crisis. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,544 with 588 recoveries, 655 registered new cases and one death. 379 of the new registered cases are expatriates workers, 264 are contacts and contacts of active cases, and 12 are travel-related. The diseased was 75-year-old citizen. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.